All right, this is video two of this breeding. I'm not too interested in me now. So I think we have uh, compatibility. I can certainly tell you this, she seems reasonably receptive to the male advances. So if this was a female that she was under conditioned or didn't have, I guess, developing follicles within, within her, when she uh, would meet this male, she's rather intolerant of other males only during the breeding season. So she would normally become aggressive at this guy. And actually, it's often that the table gets turned and the female can be super uh, aggressive and destructive to a male. So uh, right here, I think we're, we're doing okay, but for the next couple hours, I'm gonna keep a close eye. Also, another thing to note, sometimes when you put pairs together, you may get a breeding, and I've, I've had this happen with albinos, where they bred, and then as soon as they were done breeding, things went bad. So this guy, he can be very gentle. It's amazing. These guys have ridiculous claws. They can bite. They can whip and all this stuff. But when you do have a pair together, they can be very, very gentle. So he's going to sit here, and he's courting her, and he'll nuzzle her neck and line himself up and he's trying to basically just work to get underneath. Yeah, she's, she's being uh, receptive, so uh, there's a really good chance we're gonna get a uh, copulation in the next time period. I'm not exactly helping this because I'm, I'm disturbing them. And uh, he's a little too far up. But it's nice to see a little bit of blood on his face. This is classic. They get a little rough. And uh, she may have actually bit him a time or two. But sometimes the male will bite the female as he tries to get her in body position. She was hiding earlier, so we'll leave him alone and see if it's worth doing another video. Yep. I know I'm disturbing you. All right. Sorry. <laughs>